With Windows XP, if we click on Start, then turn off your computer, a dialog box will appear, and we'll have two options for shutting down the computer. Stand by and turn off. The third option is Hibernate. If we press the Shift key now, the standby will change to Hibernate. By default, this is not enabled, so if you do not see this option, you will need to enable it. To do this, you will need to access the power management by right-clicking on the desktop and from the drop-down menu, click on Properties. Click on the Screensaver tab, then the Power button. Here we should find the Hibernate tab. Click on this, and you should find a tick against the Enable Hibernate option. If not, click inside this box, then click on Apply, then OK. Let's return to the shutdown options. The standby mode is similar to sleep that we have already looked at in the other operating systems, so all the open files and applications are saved to RAM. Accessing the power management in Windows XP is slightly different. Right click on the desktop again and from the drop down menu click on properties. Click on the screensaver tab then on the power button. Here we can select a number of power schemes by clicking on the selector to the right of this. These schemes allow us to configure Windows XP Professional to turn off the power to the monitor and hard disk conserving energy. We can see four settings that allow us to configure the following. Turn off the monitor, turn off the hard drive, system standby and system hibernate. This first power option scheme home office desk is designed for desktop computers. After 20 minutes of an activity, the monitor is turned off but the hard disks are never turned off and the system standby after 20 minutes. All these options are adjustable. The next option, Portable Laptop, is optimised for portable computers that will be running on batteries. After 15 minutes of inactivity, the monitor is turned off, and after 30 minutes of inactivity, the hard disks are turned off. System standby after 20 minutes, and hibernate after 3 hours. The presentation power scheme is designed for use with presentation for which the computer display is always on. The monitor and hard disk are never turned off. The computer never goes into standby or hibernate. The always on power scheme is designed for use with personal servers. After 20 minutes of inactivity, the monitor is turned off but the hard disks are never turned off. The computer never goes into standby or hibernate. Next, minimal power management power schemes disable some power management features such as the timed system standby and hibernation mode. After 15 minutes of inactivity, the monitor is turned off but the hard disks are never turned off. Finally, the Max Battery Power Scheme is designed to conserve as much battery power as possible. After 15 minutes of any activity, the monitor is turned off but the hard disks are never turned off. Standby mode in 20 minutes and hibernation after 45 minutes. Alternatively, you can save the setting as a new scheme by clicking on Save As, then typing in the new name. In our example, we have called it Scheme 1. Now if we check the schemes, our new one will have been added. Of course we can also delete them by selecting the scheme then clicking on delete. In the advanced settings there are two options. By default only one of them has been selected. Prompt for password when computer resumes from standby. The other option allows us to see the power icon on the taskbar. If we select this now and apply the new setting, a new icon will appear on the taskbar. Now if we close all the windows and click on the icon, a menu will appear and we can select any of the power schemes. Double clicking on it will bring up the power option properties. Another feature in the power option properties in the advanced tab is the ability to change the behaviour of the power button. Clicking on the selector, we can see several options. Do nothing, so no activity will happen if you select this feature when you press the power button. 
If you select the second option, as we want to do, we'll bring up the turn off computer options. You can select standby or hibernate when the power button is pressed, or the default setting shut down. In this example, we shall select Ask Me What To Do, then click on Apply. Here we have pressed the power button and this has brought up the Turn Off Computer Options. Finally, the UPS tab or Uninterruptible Power Supply. These options are used with the device that normally contains the battery and receives a steady charge from the main supply. If the main supply is removed for any reason, other than for shutting down, the UPS kicks in and takes over from the main supply.